A good sign in the effort to keep kids safe from COVID, Pfizer has announced a medical trial shows its coronavirus vaccine is safe for children ages 5 to 11. That could be a big step toward making the vaccine available to that age group. And it comes at a time when COVID-19 cases in children have been skyrocketing. Mola Lenghi speaks with a family whose children took part in the research. I think it's just been a really wonderful privilege, really, uh, to contribute in this way. And so Dr. Richard Chung is an adolescent medicine specialist at Duke Health in Durham, North Carolina. Chung's youngest son, eight-year-old Joshua, took part in Pfizer's recently completed trials for children ages 5 to 11 years old. I think that the, everybody should get vaccinated so that things can return back to normal. Pfizer announced this morning that the trials Joshua took part in showed the vaccine was safe, well tolerated, and resulted in robust, neutralizing antibody responses. Those positive results mean Pfizer will now send this data to regulatory agencies around the world, including the FDA and European Medicines Agency, for approval. If the FDA looks at this data and feels confident that it demonstrates that this vaccine is safe and effective for children 5 to 11, you could have a vaccine within a month to six weeks. Former FDA Commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb is a member of Pfizer's board of directors. Pfizer tested multiple doses to find the, the optimal dose that had the best compromise between reducing the number of vaccine-related side effects while still providing efficacy that's on par with what we saw in 16 to 25-year-olds. The vaccine has already been approved by the FDA for use in children 12 and up. Dr. Chung's older son, Caleb, took part in those trials. I wanted to participate in the trial in order to um, help motivate other kids to get the vaccine. Pfizer's announcement comes at a pivotal time in the fight against COVID-19. The most recent American Academy of Pediatrics report showed the second highest number of childhood COVID cases for any week since the pandemic began. The spike in cases has been driven by the Delta variant, which has disproportionately affected the unvaccinated. I'm really proud of them, um, you know, seeing them kind of courageously take this step and to do so um, really enthusiastically um, has just been a remarkable experience, not just as a pediatrician, but certainly as a dad. And we should note that eight-year-old Josh was not sure whether he received the placebo shot or the real vaccine. He told us his symptoms were not severe. Mola Lange, CBS News, New York.